so in this particular video what we are going to do we are going to change the app icon dynamically but in the ios i have promised uh, that uh, i will be doing the next video on change the app icon dynamically but in the ios part we are already done in the android native now let's see how we can do that in the ios so here uh, let's look into the dart code i've already coded everything so i so that time being of explanation is only taken so you do not have to if you all the code which you see is already being pushed on the github so don't forget about that so let's uh, begin with the explanation of the code in the main dot uh, there is this is just a generic code but uh, in the tooltip like in the floating extra button uh, we are navigating to the home ios thing and here uh, if you see in the asset folder i have added the assets you know the app icon this would be our default app icon app icon blue green orange purple multiple icons are there and to do this i have used method channel like i promised to uh, extend it to use the method channel to change the app icons so uh, let me do one thing let me launch my ios simulator and let me show you how it actually worked and then we'll see how it is actually happening in the in the code and what are the settings you have to do to just perform this thing so if you see the app icon and uh, let it launch in the floating extra button click on that and if you click on app icon green just click on that it will prompt you that you have changed the icon for change icon our app name is change icon that's why it is prompting it change icon if your app name is let's say a uh, food then it will prompt you have changed the icon for food if you click on ok and if you go back to the home boom our icon is changed to the green so it will probably work it will work with all the icons so if you see i click on yellow it is changed to the yellow perfect now let's see uh, let's take a deep dive by layer by layer how it is actually happening and what are the things you have to consider it before you know jumping into the coding section basically uh, if you see at the you know home ios file let me open the home ios file here uh, i have added a method channel final method channel by importing the flutter service package uh, final method channel and i'm just uh, calling this channel uh, do remember this would be your package name. if your app name is foodie so com.example.foodie my uh, package name is com.example.change icon and change icon is would be your method name let's say i can name it raman i can name it foodie whatever you want but this should be constant like you cannot change it until unless you change the your uh, your you know application id basically so those are the some list of app icons which i'm getting in the asset folder which i'm getting from the assets uh do remember that your app icon should not be named like this uh something uh not this naming naming convention app icon let's say uh blue like you should not name your app icon something like this it should be generic app icon blue or something okay do not name it like this and i'm just calling a future change icon is the await platform dot invoke method change icon and the i'm just passing icon name uh icon name is simply this app icon blue to our method which is we are writing the native code so if you see this is just a generic dart code which you see right in front of here I, on the on tap i'm just calling this uh this function to do that to, uh, to perform that particular task and if we got an error i'm just printing it error changing icon or something now let's jump back to the coding part like how it is actually happening the base layer like uh how should be app delegate like i can write all the code which is in the app icon in the app delegate but it is not a good approach you can you should delegate all the code to different to different file so that's why i created another file called icon manager swift uh, i recommend you if you are watching it for the ios thing you probably have mac os like macbook 
and you you should have x code in your you know system as well so i would recommend you to you know create your icon manager file in these in this how to create a new file you just go to the runner right click here and create a new file create empty file let's say i name it raman or dot zip right now i'm not going to name it okay uh that's that is how you should you know create your file i recommend this way because you know a x code simply you know support swift that much so just that's my personal opinion for you here uh, i've created a enum enum basically have all the app icons which we are currently supporting like app icon blue or green orange whatever it is and i'm giving it primary like primary would be are the base app icon like the starting app icon before jumping it to the actual coding part like how we are actually doing it what are the things we are calling and something i wanted to show you the setup how you can do a setup to just simply run this application let's jump back to the vs code and if you see the info.pls file you have to add this ui preferred icon and the cf bundle alternative icon in the your in your pls basically you will find the code in the github like how we can do it so you can just copy and paste it and edit those things but there is something more important than this to run your application is that if you go to the runner and go to this build setting and all and combine and in the runner uh, just click on alternative app icons that you will get there and click on this and add your all the app icons here just add let's say if i wanted to add another app icon i'll just add app icon let's say uh, white or something if i have white simply this and i do not have this so i'll just remove that do make sure that you have this fixed before building and running your application and include all app icon as it should be on the yes and you can ignore this primary app icon set name that's not mandatory and after that uh, okay how would you get to this asset catalog just search here app icon you will get this asset catalog compiler option basically this and make sure that all the app icon which you have added here should be here as well and in the runner test as well that's the step again after that what you have to do go to your assets create a folder name app icon and add all your app icons into this folder i recommend it this way so simply follow the follow my recommendation how you can do that so uh, create a new folder app icon and add all your app icons here doesn't matter app icon white green doesn't matter just add it here all the app icons should be should be here in this folder okay that's it for the setup part now let's see how we can actually let's jump back to the coding part basically first i can manage a dot swift file okay let it open okay so here's the explanation of the icon manager like how it is actually happening so uh, what is it this enum thing so enum that is the list of all the possible app icons which we want in the app which we want it to support this raw value each uh, case is assigned a string value that matches the icon name in, in an app asset catalog in the app assets we have for example app icon blue or green how what is case at table case at label lets you to iterate all over the cases in the enum example icon dot all cases and all identifiable is the useful for using a swift ui to display the, this list if you wanted to identify the, i mean the list of property id self dot raw value basically in simply turn icon is just an handle list of all your icon options basically now let's jump back to the model thing how let's explain this particular function what is happening what is it uh, it is a class that holds the current selected icon and also the provides the functionality to change it basically it will uh, it is having the state of the current icon which is our default icon and have the ability to just basically change the app icon 
observable object a uh, software protocol that allows software views to automatically update whenever any published property changes a published war app icon if you see icon uh, is a published meaning any swift to ui view observing this class will refresh whenever app icons change basically we are changing the app icons whenever we are calling this particular function now a uh, function of set uh, alternative icon is that it is a method how we are changing it the purpose of this is to use ios ui application dot share dot set alternative app icon to change the app icon at the runtime because we are changing the app icon in the runtime and if icon is equal to equal to primary means we are just passing it in to revert the default icon basically the primary icon otherwise we pass the string for an example app icon blue app icon orange yellow whatever that identify the new icon in your asset catalog okay uh, guard your app ui application dot shared alternative app icon is not equal to app icon basically this line avoid it avoid the setting the name if the already uses that icon basically like if we are already using app icon yellow then we do not want it to change it again because we have already set it so if it is same then we'll just return we will not do anything uh, dispatch uh, the finally if ui dot share alternate set alternative app icon is the, we will just get the icon name error if we add if we got an error then we'll just show okay we got an error error setting alternative app icon else we'll just show that okay we have successfully changed the app icon of whatever app icon we have passed to this particular function init is basically how you know at the init basically that on the init thing initialize the model with the current state of the app icon if the app icon name is the ui app application or shared preference dot alternative icon name if app icon name is nil means there is no alternative icon stored then we'll just use primary else we'll use the icon name properly this is the swift ui function how we are actually doing how we are changing the app icon now let's jump back to the app delicate part like this is actually quite an important file because we are calling the channels and other stuff in this file and we are calling the model here now let's see what is in this file now uh, below it is uh, it integrate flutter with ios to dynamically change the app icon at the runtime and the main is we are just calling app delegate okay channel if you see i uh, this channel is the name you know uh, let private act channel is the com dot example dot change icon slash change icon if you see at the home ios we have used the same platform channel it basically identify what are the channels we want it to use now if you see uh, in the this is the generic flutter code which is there this is the code which we want to use if let flutter view controller is the window dot view uh, root view controller like this is the generic code how it should be written in the swift ui to understand that our main thing start from here if we are just calling a method equal to change icon and we'll just use the icon name whatever value we are getting from the change icon function like this icon function we are uh, passing it icon name we are getting this icon name here you know here basically and if we got an error that okay we are not able to get the value or whatever what else then we'll just show what Whatever result we got okay we got an error which we said icon name is required and we'll return it and we are just calling a met method you know the model method and if icon is equals to icon dot row value icon and set alt alternative app icon like here we are just calling a fun uh, calling that alternative app icon function and we are setting it the new app icon which we get from the flutter code and if it actually change the app icon then it will result that true else we'll just show that invalid icon and icon not found or what else 
and result this and this is just in generic filter code yeah that's it how this is how we change the app icon dynamically or with the user action as well for the android native part i have uh, shown you how you can change the app icon with a different approach like it will change the app icon when the time actual change but if you want to change the app icon using the method channel i have done it using the ios part yeah that's probably it for the series like how you can change the app icons and if you got any error or some problems let's say it is an ios thing there are very high chances that you will stuck at some particular point you can reach me out anytime on my linkedin or my socials which is linkedin and twitter which you will find the link below in the description and do let me know in the comment section if you like this particular tutorial and if you've seen this far so thumbs up this video and and that's probably it this whole scenario took me like one to two days to complete a build and launch let me show you a screenshot like what are the issues i faced while building that because why not because it is actually quite you know complicated thing to build it let me show you the screenshot what actually i faced it while building it okay so here are the images which i have faced it during the building so if you see this there is a null app icon if you see right here so this is what the problem which i faced and the second photo is that the app is only recognizing this particular app icon to change so yeah those are the two things which i faced during the development of this dynamic app icon i uh, do like this struggle if you seen it this far and do let me know in the comment section that if you faced error issues whatever while doing your part and all the code which you see in front of your screen will be available on my github channel uh, in my github let me show you my github where you will find all those things if you see the chrome on github slash change i think dynamic change app icon is very good yep all the code would be available right here you can uh, see wherever you want yeah that's it for this video uh, do keep any keep exploding and bye bye